Hello everyone, welcome to this Sims 3 Building Basics video. So today I'm going to show you how to add a houseboat to any world in The Sims 3. Now houseboats came with The Sims 3 Island Paradise, so they normally are only found in Isla Paradiso, and you're going to need Island Paradise in order to do this. Now some worlds are better for houseboats than others, so today I'm here in Sunset Valley, which is the world that came with The Sims 3 base game, and while you can add houseboats to any world in the game, you know, in some cases they're you know, I might not be able to move the houseboat around too much because a lot of these worlds weren't really designed for houseboats, uh, but it's still technically possible. So I already tested this in Sunset Valley, and when you're looking for a place to start off um, where your houseboat will dock, um, over here, I already determined is not good because the houseboats can't get around this landmass here. So yeah, you just kind of want to find a location that's going to be kind of near the largest body of water. So in this case, this area here is all usable ocean, uh, like where the houseboat can actually go. So to start off, um, we're going to have to build our port lot, and that's where the houseboat will dock. So let's go to edit town. We're going to click the three dots here and go to edit town. And now we're going to go down here to the world editor. So I'm going to place my port right here, which is right next to kind of this abandoned dock. So I would recommend using any lot that's larger than a 40 by 20. Um, but I'm going to use a 50 by 25 for this. And if you want to rotate the lot, you should um, hold down, well, hopefully not have it snap to the road. You should hold down the alt key and that lets you rotate while you click and drag. So you can kind of get it how you want, uh, which I might want to rotate it more. And sometimes when you uh, click and drag to rotate, it will just place the lot, so that's why I'm rotating it kind of over the road here, so it won't just automatically place it, although it's kind of not cooperating. Well, you can just rotate like this. The only problem is once you let go, it just places it, so you better make sure that's where you want to go. But anyway, uh, there's the lot. So as you can see, this lot extends pretty far into the ocean, which is what we're going to need for this. So let's uh, select the lot, and we're going to go right here to change lot type. And we're going to change the lot type to community. And then we're going to choose the port uh, lot type here. It should be near the bottom of the list. We're going to click OK. So now we're going to have to go into uh, build mode. Now, at this point, if you want to, you could go into Isla Paradiso. You could save an existing port lot to your library and just place it here. Uh, but it might not fit into the world that you're working with. So I'm going to show you how to create your own from scratch. So right now, we're just loading into the lot here. Sometimes it can take a bit of time, especially with custom place lots, because it has to figure out the terrain. Um, sometimes it takes longer than other times, but I guess this is a long loading screen. Uh, but I think we're about to load in. Alrighty. So, as you can see here, I have a little bit of land to work with, but mostly water, which is what we want. So we're going to go and get out a foundation. I would recommend using a stilted foundation. And we're going to go fairly deep into the water here, and we're going to start from the water and build onto the land. Now, the reason for this is if we start on land, like say I started up here and built into the water, you're going to get the wrong height. Uh, so like this is a little bit too tall. We want it to be the correct height, and you'll always get the correct height if you start from the water first. So uh, since the houseboats um, are going to have to be, um, or since the the uh, port has to accommodate any size houseboat, uh, and they're going to be over here, since this lot is longer than it is wide, I would uh, probably build the dock going this direction so the houseboat can face out this way, as opposed to having the houseboat facing this way. Um, anyway, so I just placed down this uh, extension of the dock here. It has to be at least three blocks deep uh, to place in the object that the houseboats will dock on. Otherwise, uh, it's just not going to place. So anyway, I can turn off the grid here. We don't really need that. So the next step is to go and hold down Control, Shift, and C at the same time on your keyboard. And we're going to type in the cheat, testing cheats enabled true and hit enter. Now we're going to hold down control, shift, and C again, and we're going to type in, this time, the cheat by debug, and hit enter. Okay, so now we're going to go here to buy mode, and then we're going to go to sort by function, we're going to go to this little uh, question mark here, uh, labeled debug, then we're going to go to miscellaneous objects, and now we're going to filter the content by island paradise, so we can actually find the object easier. So just scroll down here, there it is. All right, so the object is this one right here. Uh, it's called Gangway Style, and you can you know change the color of it, do whatever you want with that. But we're gonna pull this out here, and we're gonna rotate it around, because right now it's facing the wrong way. And as you can see, it should just place right on your dock. So I'm just gonna place it right there. And uh, it 
has this kind of uh, transparent or translucent square here, or rectangle, um, and this is showing the maximum size houseboat. So that's why you have to make sure that you place this in the correct orientation, because if I place this going the other way, the lot wouldn't be wide enough to accommodate it. So that's why I built it this way. But anyway, that's all we need to do here. Um, well, actually, we need some stairs, I guess, if you want your sims to actually be able to get onto the houseboat. But once you place in some stairs, um, this is technically all you need. I mean, of course, if you want to like go the extra mile, you can place down some fencing too, you know, blah, blah, blah. You can get some uh, wood on the kind of just going on here. But I mean, really, this is all you need. And of course, you can landscape and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, we can go into Edit Town, and uh, if we're going to select our lot here, uh, you'll see it's now labeled a port lot, and then we're going to go to this button. It's a new button that says Set Houseboat. So we're going to select that, and then you can choose whatever size houseboat you want. So say I choose the large one, you can see it can fit the largest size, but you can also choose like any of these other ones, and you can see they fit as well. So let's just go, I guess we can go with this one, this one's fine. Um, and of course we can enter the houseboat lot normally and build by. Uh, it's pretty standard and you can build whatever houseboat you want here. It's not anything uh, too crazy, but like, here you go. You got your houseboat um, and it's in, you know, Sunset Valley, which is kind of cool. So yeah, let's just say we get a roof on here. Wow, that's attractive. Anyway, yeah, so like say this is our houseboat. Uh, let's move the little helm here. Actually, didn't really make a great spot for that. Oh well. Well, it doesn't really matter where this object is, but as long as we have it, and this is our mailbox as well, and our trash can, so we just have those houseboat objects, but I'm going to show you now um, that it should work, so I'm going to return to the game setup here, uh, and I'm going to move a sim in there, so I'll be right back in just a second. Alrighty, so here I've got my sim who's reading a book, but anyway, I just kind of did some very simple decorations here to the houseboat just so it's not... Um, you know, completely unfinished. That's just obviously not essential to its functionality though. So uh, what I can basically do now is just go over here somewhere in the ocean and select move houseboat here and it should work. So yeah, again, you have to just be kind of mindful of where you're placing your houseboat um, in the world because there are going to be some areas that work better than others. Uh, right here you can see he's doing an interesting maneuver there, but you know, and again, because certain worlds aren't designed for houseboats, um, you know, like objects like this, they're just gonna go right through. Oh, actually, he avoided that. That was good. But yeah, like the buoy and like these objects, the houseboats will just kind of go right through them. But they technically function. It's a little goofy because, again, these worlds like Sunset Valley weren't necessarily designed, um, you know, for houseboats to just kind of seamlessly work, but they do work, as you can see. He did kind of a weird thing there, and I don't know exactly why that is, but as you can see, he's gonna boat on over to where I told him to. So yeah, as you can see, fully functional houseboat here in um, uh, Sunset Valley. So yeah, basically shows that you can, in fact, um, build a houseboat, and also there's a water taxi there. So yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. It's not um, overly complicated there. And I hope that this was helpful, and I hope to see you next time. Bye, everyone. Have a great day.